Hey guys. Hey guys, what's up? How are y'all? Look, look at this. We got new digs. It's it's our new office, and I like it. Do you like it? It's not my new office, but it's y'all's new office. It's, yeah. <laughs> um, hello, everyone. As you can see, we got a new um, layout, new digs. New digs. And what's awesome about this <laughs> is that there's actually um, a few other people here in this same room, so if you hear them, just ignore them. Because, Especially that Bender character. Yeah, ben, Bender's over there and Gabe's He's over there. He's giving me sass looks right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, oh, oh before, my skin. Before we get started, um, we have 49 people on right now. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello out there so, in the big world. I would like to interrupt and show y'all this. Dun, 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 dun. We've been teasing this um, over the past few days. And it is a Vape Wild vape mat, look at as it, you can see. Look at it. It's so pretty. It's, so, um, it's beautiful. This is probably one of the I'm best. I'm stealing it. This is one of the best quality, like, prettiest ones that we've created. Um, good job, design. Yeah, you guys um, did a great job. But there's something special about these vape mats. There's only five of them. Five vape mats. That's it. And we are giving, no, four. It's oh my gosh, four. there's not four. even five. There's, there's four. four. You lie! I, I ate did. one last night. I was hungry. <laughs> there's only four of them. <laughs> and we're giving away two of them on this live show at the very end. So you have to stay to the very end to enter. Don't Ooh, leave. I, I can hear it getting all upset. Oh. No, they will not be available on Vape Wild. They won't be. We only have four. Uh. We're giving away two today. Cuatro. That's all we got. And, um, yeah, they're not going to be available on Vape Wild. So, so good luck. I want to see a uh, Vape Wild Battle Royale in the chats. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. Please don't. <laughs> yes, yes, Lacey, you are disqualified because you work here. Lacey, yes. stop it. Stop it. Um, all right, so let's start the show. Um, as always, I want to thank our subscribers. And I checked, uh, actually, a few minutes ago. We had 14,263 subscribers. 14,263. <laughs> that is beautiful. Look up. We're getting closer, guys, to this mane of blue hair. Just keep keep bringing them in. And who knows what's going to happen at 15,000. Oh, Lord. What? <laughs> okay. <Hey. laughs> Gang fight. All right. that, Dave? Um, <laughs> no, but... I do want to thank you all um, for subscribing. If you are not subscribed and you're watching this, please hit that subscribe button um, in the clap. bell notification. Be a part of our notification squad. Squad up. <laughs> I feel I feel like you're my hype man right now. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Get ready for deal. I'm sorry. No. Um, so, will you do the shout outs? Yes, yes, yes. So we are shouting out a few people today. Uh, first and foremost, one of my personal favorites. I, I, I have no problem saying Terry, Terry Lynn uh, Trinina. And then we have Over Drip Rip, another friend of mine. What's up, how you doing? Uh, Cybercat, thank you so much for checking out all of our content. And Dexter Morgan, thank you to all of you for being uh, involved in our videos and our content. We love you. Yes, we do. Um, these specific ones have been really active in our community tab. Um, if you do not know what our community tab is, it is a special feature that we have unlocked through YouTube, basically. We love um, And it is a place where we can communicate and we can post in there, keep you up to date on what's going on, um, show you new content, all of that good stuff, ask you questions, put polls. Um, yeah, and you can talk back to us. We have had a lot of people uh, commenting on a lot of the questions I've been asking recently, and I want to thank you. Um, I want to thank you for doing that because it, it helps us a lot whenever we ask you guys questions, and we want your feedback, and that's a great way to do it is through the community tab. Um, oh, also, the only way you can view community posts is through desktop. You cannot do it through mobile, I don't think. Get a computer. Let me double check on that. <laughs> Maybe someone can tell me. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I do think it's just desktop, but I could be very wrong. Um, all right. We'll go into special announcements here in a minute. Let's say hi to some people coming in talking. Let's see um, here. Hi, Melanie Baker. Brian Keith, I see you. 1978, 10-pack. What up, what up? 
Um, hi, Jennifer Reed. Let's what else do we got in here? Mr. Hadley. Cordelia telling us that she likes this uh, Surf, S-V-R-F, flavors. Good, they are. They are good. I like that one, at least. Um, dun dun dun. <laughs> uh, yeah, for the little, Jeffrey, little price, hello. you have to buy it yourself. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go into special announcements because Eric is gonna be here soon. Yeah, he, yeah he's gonna be coming in soon. He's, he's our special, special guest. guest. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying it, Get I felt you saying brain. it. It was like hmm. <laughs> we have become one. We did the uh, the fusion technique. Avatar. Oh, that's well, it's more like a Dragon Ball crazy? Z. It's a fusion, ha, and then you touch fingers and then become Datsu. Yeah, I... I <laughs> um, okay, what are we doing? Okay, special announcements. So, um, the first couple announcements are for both VapeWild.com and VapeWild EU. Yes, you can see it on mobile, Gabe. Yes, Gabe is confirmed. You can see the community tab on mobile. Thanks, yes. Gabe. Okay, thank you. Uh, mobile and desktop. Good job, Gabe. Uh, okay, so these special <laughs> announcements... Are for both VapeWild.com and VapeWild EU. The most important I want to talk about is that we're going to be doing a getting started series. And we've kind of already started this a little bit, but I want to bring attention to it because it is January. It yeah. is a new year. Happy New Year. Um, new Year, New You. Yep, that's right. And we will be having, and you may know, some new vapors. We want to kind of answer their questions. Um, any questions that you may have, how to clean your, how to clean your mods, um, how to change your coils, what is PGVG, uh, can you think of any other ones off the top of your head that we're working not, on not right now? Not off the top of my head, but I can say that, uh, it was, the bulk of that series was worked, worked on in depth, uh, by the incomparable Gabe. So yes. you're going to be seeing a lot of him. He did a really fantastic job, and I just wanted to shout him out, let him know that he did a really, really excellent job with those videos. Yep, he did. Um, and if you have not seen them, go watch them, because they are very informative. Um, and if you know any new vapors, share those videos to them because it, it's easier to learn. Um, I, th I think it's easier to learn whenever you can visually see it instead yeah. of like if you were to call customer yeah, we service. We have that conversation. Yeah, we're, we're, we're visual learners. So yeah. there's, if, you're, if you're the type that, you know, sitting and looking at blocks of text is not for you, but you, you can learn from just, you know, seeing, seeing and then doing, these, these series are, the, right. are perfect for you. So definitely check those out. Yes. Um, Y'all ever talk about wash or reusing coils? Danny, yes, we have a video specifically on that, on how to clean your coils. Um, and it goes over rebuildable coils and pre-made coils. So you should go check that out if you're wondering how to do that. Um, yeah, okay, the next is we have for both VapeWild.com and VapeWild.eu, we have limited releases coming out, mm -hmm. but I can't tell you what they are, but I do know I have heard from Batsu that these videos are going to be fantastic. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we've uh, we put a lot of work into them. Um, it's going to be fun. Uh, I'm not, I can't, I really, there's so much I want to say, but it, you'll just have to see. Just know that it's, it was a collaborative effort between me and a couple other people in the office currently. So it's going to be a good time. One of them was my idea and I'm very happy Batsu was like, yes, yeah, we're was, doing this. Yep, and I'm and like, yes! Okay, um, so yeah, I'm really excited for that. Um, I also, every year we do like a best of the year series and um, it's a poll on the website and we did it last year for 2018. We're going to do it again for 2019. It's just not set up yet. So keep an eye out for that. I'm sure there'll be an email mm -hmm. sent out. Um, I'll put a post in the community as well whenever that is up and running so that y'all can go vote on your best of 2019 things. <laughs> Whether that be flavor or hardware or, I don't know, maybe people is one of the options. I, I have no earthly idea. Um, I'm at the top of everyone's list in <laughs> also, my own mind. Also, uh, EU, really quickly. Um, VapeWild.com, we mentioned in our last last live that we had black vape bands. Mm -hmm. They were they are available on vapewild.com. They are coming to vapewild.eu because I know some people were asking. They're coming on the 21st. So if you want your black vape bands and you live in the EU, the 21st they will be available to you. If your soul is black like mine, 
And mine. He, <laughs> these bands are for you. <laughs> and I don't great. know. When you said that, all I could think about is like bands will make her dance. I and was I'm thinking like, that in my head, and I was like, let me not say that. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. Um, all right. Uh, also, the mystery hardware bags for vapewild.eu are still available. So if you haven't gotten them, go get you some. Go, go get you some. It's a bag full of amazing goodness. You know, we never let you guys down, so go ahead and get yourself a mystery hardware bag today. Today. All right, so our special guest just came in and sat down, and I'm fixing to make him stand up and come over here. <laughs> um, so it is time to bring Eric on. Um, if you have any questions for him, please throw them in the comments, and we'll be reading them um, here shortly, picking a couple. Um, I do know that there were a lot of comments that came in for him. Y'all have questions for one of our owners. He may have answers. He may have answers. <laughs> If you don't know who Eric is, this is Eric. I don't know whether to look this way or look at you guys. <laughs> I don't know. We do both. Like right. we, I, it's I promise awkward. I was not the one who clogged the toilet. Eric, please don't fire me. <laughs> oh, JP, I never got, the, I never got a copy of the a printed. Oh, I got it right here. JP's body. That's, that's what you call producing, like on the fly producing. <laughs> right Take this. That was fast. Um, that's what she. So. <laughs> I I, I would like to just figure out for people who don't know who you are. I kind of want. Would you mind telling them who you are? Oh look, you, hold on. You got a bunch of people saying, "Hey, what's up?" What's up, people? What's up, Jeff and Ronnie and Cordelia? That's the best name so far. <laughs> we got what up, E Dog? What about Michael Fano? That's uh, it's a little aggressive. Oh, Mikel, my bad. <laughs> Some of these questions yeah. are great. Uh, how long um, until the new bottles roll out? Yeah, I know. Uh, We're gonna get there. Yeah, I know, I know. Did you talk to it yet? No, because I was gonna Squeezy do it bottles. without, without anyone knowing. You, the, the, um, yeah, it I have. Really well. I've been yeah. I've been testing it. I like it a lot. I got, I got a cool question Man. over here. Uh, uh, let's see, Eric. If you could pick it's intro music, man. what would you pick? Give me your best WWE style. intro music. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, I was a long time metalhead, so still am. Um. I mean, you can't come out to something like, why can't we be friends, right? <laughs> so it's got to be aggressive. We're in Dallas right now, so probably Pantera. Vulgar display of power. How about that? By the way, this is an old school Vaporwell shirt. Check this thing out. Didn't it have something on the back? Team V-Dude? Yeah, it says, uh, Sicker what? than the what breath? Sicker? Oh, sickest in the game. Sickest in the game. I was mad I didn't Ever, get one of those. And it glows in the dark. I know, I was mad I didn't get one Yeah. Yeah, I'll see what yeah, we can you're do. Al you're always mad. Anyways, so. yes. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I would like you to kind of tell anyone who don't who, who don't know who you are. Who don't know me? Mm -hmm. There's probably billions. <laughs> anyone who doesn't know who you are that is watching or will watch this, could watch this, who are you? And why Why? Do, why, why do am you, I a special guest? Yeah. Okay, so my name's Eric. I'm one of the co-founders here. There were uh, uh, three co-founders of the main company and then uh, I'm one of four owners uh, and I've been involved with vape pretty much since the get-go right now I run all of our e-commerce presence so anything on the web on whatever website that's me and then uh, as most people can uh, attest to I can't help keeping my hands out of pretty much everything now I'm I'm, I'm yeah. just I'm in everything vape wild is me I am vape wild this is real yeah but you I, do it in a cool way, you know? <laughs> you make you make people feel welcome. Yeah. So that's awesome. Um, but you're very active in the Facebook group. Very. Um, I've seen you active on Reddit. Mm-hmm. And on our YouTube as well. Reddit scares me. I know. It scares everybody. <laughs> now, it does. Reddit's like, it scares me, but it's not like 4chan scary. <laughs> oh, 4chan. Okay. Oh, so, no. I'm not just, I don't even go that way. <laughs> One, I don't want to do that on, like, on my work computer because then you get oh, questions. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Well. Bender's over there just laughing himself to death. He knows. Uh, <laughs> What's I, up, Anon? I have a, a – that's right. Yeah. yeah, I'm with you. So I have a um, question that came in and from Bilbo Baganis. It says, if there was someone trying to get their name out there for their vape show, what would you suggest? Hmm, you gotta be different now. So, 
I'm not sure. I'm not trying to hate on you. I'm not sure a name's going to set you apart. I would do a different theme. Like, um, I don't know, always do it at a Chinese restaurant or something just random like that. Just put a, put your own stamp on it. I'll oh, just potty. On it. Yeah. Porter potty vapor views. I like the 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 Lord of the Rings, though. Like, because his name is Bilbo Bagginus. Bagginus. Yeah. Riff off that. That's fun, right? Didn't the Gandalf. Mind. Yeah. Oh, he's, he, that's what he said. He says the name of the show. What's the name of his show? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so how would you get your name out there? I would I would reach out to a lot of the vape companies, especially the ones that you want to talk about, maybe this one, and I would ask for products or coupon codes to give away. And so everybody loves giveaways. It's a great way to get followers. You may or may not notice that we give away, do coupon giveaways, you know. Speaking of time. giveaways, uh, there is a giveaway at the end of every live show, but this one is special because we're giving away two Vape Wild exclusive vape mats. Anybody that's on the, let me show you my best side. Anybody that's on the um, Facebook group and soon to be forum on the main website, everybody's been clamoring for these. So, and it boggles my mind because we made a ton of these. Nobody bought them. We finally get rid of all of them. And then they're like, where are those vape mats? I want them. And I'm like, where were you guys th three months ago? So we've got a couple. As you can tell, these are probably some sort of prototypes, maybe some uh, things that we'll offer in the future. But we've got a couple right now for you. Yep. We have uh, two that we'll give away at the end of the show, along with five coupon codes. How are you going to choose that? How are you gonna You're going to choose I'm going to choose this. Through yeah. the comments. Yeah. yeah. Well, That is a lot yeah. Yeah. of power <laughs> no one man should yes. have all of that power Raw go ahead start power. sucking up to me right now i can be bribed <laughs> what are we doing here um i'm just I'm, <laughs> oh, oh, watch the chat yeah. <laughs> um okay so i want to do a couple of questions that we got um as well a little bit more on the on the serious side okay um so kim brandon jp did you put them on order okay kim brandon asked how is the development of the Vape Wild Forum coming along? Will it be regulated to keep unruly types out and allow members to possibly do a vape it forward type thing? So those are great questions. So let's start with the first one, which is the development. The development's going very well. We've got um, two contenders for the platform and we're testing them both out. Uh, the tricky part is, is that I wanna make sure that you know, if there's a badge or an icon because you've tried over a hundred different flavors or ten different flavors, or you've you've had so you've been a customer for so long that people know. So tying the basically the IP, API connection um, for for you tech types out there, making sure that the forum can see customer information um, only in your login, but making it secure so that nobody else can see it. But that's how that would give you the badge. Like, oh, this guy knows he's talking about. He's been a vape wild customer for three years and he's tried over thirty flavors. So it kind of gives you some clout. Being able to have that functionality is uh, is paramount to us, so we're making sure that we do it correctly. Um, as far as unruly types, I mean, there's always unruly types. Um, usually people, uh, sometimes it actually gets just a little bit angry in the group. Oh, yeah. A, yeah. a little bit. Because the group, they're very protective of their own. So if somebody talks sideways, whoosh, I'm just like, hey, guys, come I got a, I got a good anecdote about that here in a second. But, <laughs> yes, it'll be moderated. And as a matter of fact, depending on how big the group gets, we may reach out to people to help hmm. moderate that. So cool. if any of you guys are have extra time on your hands, then maybe you can hit us up whenever this thing launches. And then lastly, a, a Vape It Forward uh, like thread. I, I've got no problem with that. Yeah, we have to make sure that with all the legalities of the mm -hmm. FDA and all that, that we don't get any trouble. So that way you're giving free product and what happens if it gets to somebody that's 16 years old, right. can't have that happen. But if we can figure out a way to do it, then that's always fun. And mm. I love having it forward. I mean, we have it in every single order, so. Um, but back to the to the group. Yeah. So it hasn't happened a lot recently. Well, no. I guess it does, but. Not as frequently, it's definitely not as frequently. Somebody, especially when we first started the group, somebody would come in there and say, well, Vape Wild's nice, but I got a bad package, and or they need to fix it. And all of the group members would say, Vape Wild wouldn't do that. You're a shill. How dare you come in here? And, stuff. and, and it could have been a legitimate mess up on our part. It was like, wait, guys, like, hold on. Down. Yeah, calm down. This guy may have a legitimate thing. So then it, this guy immediately gets defensive. So, I mean, our fans are the best fans in the world. I can't imagine, you know, this company's amazing. You won't have great talent like Dale and Batsu here if it wasn't for you guys interacting with us every day, but uh, 
it, it's funny. It's funny. Yes, you're right. It's like if they smell blood sometimes. Yeah. It's it's and not good. And for the good. most part, they're they're helpful. It, it, it's just like sometimes, like I was gonna throw this out there. If you're watching from the group, guys, if someone asks a question, it's okay if they if you've already heard that question ten times, they may have missed all ten of those posts. Yeah. <laughs> and that's their first time asking the question and seeing it. So. Let's all just. That's what's great about the forum. You can have a beginner's area for the forum, right? Yeah. So that way, the the no dumb questions area. So that way, <laughs> people won't have their cyber feelings hurt if they see the the fourteenth time on how to <laughs> clean a coil. We should definitely call it that, though. Your cyber feelings. The no dumb questions. The no dumb questions <laughs> thread, yeah. <laughs> True um, hate followed fashion. Okay, the next one is from Brian Keith, whom, you know, you're my buddy. Uh, will loyalty points be coming soon? Are there any hints you can give us on what we have to look forward to? Y'all are already the best company out there in my opinion. What are some of the plans for the future that'll make y'all even better? So what I really like about the loyalty program is a lot of the stuff that you guys um, do day to day anyways, whether it's leaving a review or evangelizing or being on social media or vaping it forward. We want to say thank you. The loyalty program is a way for us to say thank you for being the best fans in the world, the best customers in the world. Um, so some of the things like reviewing, um, recommending people to the site, um, even sharing it on social media, I want to. We want to give back. So there's ways to earn loyalty points. Um, but we also want to do some silly fun things too, like uh, in true vape wild fashion. So maybe it's you know your vape anniversary. Let's get you some points there. Um, you know, maybe if anybody gets like a chest tattoo, we can get like maybe thousands of points there. Yes. You know, so. you know why he's looking at me? <laughs> There's there, we, no, it's not available, Gabe, to employees. But I will be. You know, we we, we talked about this. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you can, maybe maybe you can trade in a couple thousand points for a piece of Gabe's beard. So we actually had. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm totally down. A little Ziploc baggy. <laughs> I, I want to actually, me and Callie talked about this. Callie does uh, a lot of the marketing for the website. We've talked about actually spam your friend, but really you just fill their mailbox full of spam. Like oh. So instead of email spam, it's actually like actual, mailbag actual spam. spam. So if you can actually, <laughs> you could trade in your points to spam your friend or yeah. something like that, that'd be kind of funny. I don't know. I'm up for the suggestions. Wait, I'm like, I don't like this idea, but it's kind of awesome. But I could see if it was someone in Texas, it would smell really bad in the middle of the summer. Yeah. I yeah, can see these, these guys are really liking this tattoo idea. Uh oh, yeah. we've had. If you already have one, I'm not sure that counts, but maybe we could. Yeah, I mean, we, we'll have to demo it at some point to kind of show them what the tattoo would look like. I what, wonder how we can do that. What should we call the points? Like, should they be V dubs? Should they be ohms you can earn? Should they be watts? Mm. Hertzes. Hertzes. Or just points? That no, seems so the lame. points are lame. Yeah. I'm with you. I like the watts. Points are lame. What? Yeah. The watts. <laughs> watts. <laughs> yeah, and whenever you hit a certain amount, you could be like, you have 100 and da -da -da gigawatts. Yeah. Oh, you started getting gigawatts. <laughs> yeah. Right. I like that. Great, Scott. Um. And that could be a badge if you have X amount, like a couple of thousand points, you could have like a gigawatt badge. Yeah, <laughs> nice. It just says Great Scott next to it. Um, okay, the next one is from Ronnie. Will there be a mobile app and can we have bumper stickers? I know we have magnets, but people steal those. So the problem with the mobile app is either the, both of the app stores, the main big ones is whether it's the Android or uh, iOS on their, their apps. Because we are tobacco related product, it's hard to get our app pushed through those formats. So our best thing we can do is create a, um, a responsive mobile website that you can kind of create an app icon on your phone and it gives you notifications. So we can do that in the future. That's probably what we'll, we'll move towards. And yes, we'll get you bumper stickers. But once again, if I make a thousand of these things, they may not sit on the shelf like the old vape mats. These vape mats. Yeah, Y'all yeah. better tell your friends and come we buy have, these up, man. Yeah, we should have a, uh, we should have a contest contest for best slogan, and then that person can earn some like store credit, and uh, and we'll put their slogan on the actual on Yo, the actual I'll... bumper sticker. Yeah, that sounds like. That sounds oh yeah, because like okay, so one of the license plate covers that we had, one of them, I couldn't put on my car. Yeah. It was. Too big. No, it could have been the slogan on the actual bumper sticker. <laughs> I, I always read it, and I'm like. Mm. So that's how she gets down. No, it's like, <laughs> yeah. It's the the other, what is it, the other? My mod, mod is my other ride? Yeah. Like that? yeah. <laughs> like, ew. No. My, what, what, my, what, <laughs> we've, we've had some blunders in the marketing department. We, it is technically an adult company. 
Yeah, yeah, but. I mean, yeah, y'all hired me. I don't know. Okay. Cuss like a sailor. Um, the next one is from Terry Lynn. Will there, will they ever come out with Vape Wild AF for Canada and other countries? So it's funny. Somebody was asking about Vape Wild AF here. So let me give you, you know, Vape Wild AF T-shirts. What is the future of Vape Wild AF? Was so oh, more mystery flavors yeah. on AF. So there will be more mystery flavors on AF. Um, there will be more. Um, fun things, I would say, for Vape Wild AF. Uh, we were t- already talked about the loyalty points. Vape Wild AF members will earn them at an accelerated rate. Right now, we're looking at about 10%. But there are also going to be special items in the loyalty store for AF members. Um, and the way, and the reason why is because a lot of the things, we try to interact with our customers, right? So it's not really a, it's not a money grab. We interact with you guys so much. We like messing with you guys so much that we want to make sure that we continue to have money to do these fun things or to make these one-offs or to make these things here. The AF helps us because if, if we take this small yearly fee, now we can put a lot of um, marketing um, towards that. Mm-hmm. You know, we can take some of those marketing dollars and pay it back to, to, the, to, the, um, to the loyal fans. Um, so you'll definitely see all of those plans continue to expand. Limited run of green is for turtle t-shirts. There, there you, you go. go. <laughs> <laughs> I would wear one. <laughs> I'm like, no. And then I'm like, yeah, I wear one of those. Um, I just had someone comment and said, it's fine, Dale. Just write it with pride. <laughs> Listen, y'all are killing me. We have me. crossed that line. Um, <laughs> we, have, we have two left. Let's get through them real quick. Um, Mad Hatter, uh, why did you pursue the path of becoming an owner of a vape company? And why does this area interest you? So I am not a former smoker. Um, what was interesting is I used to play high stakes poker and depending now everybody, whatever you consider high stakes is, uh, you know, it's different depending on where you are or what you're doing. But for almost a decade, I played poker for a living. It was myself and a really good buddy of mine, Kevin Thurman. Um, I heard about vaping and electronic cigarettes at a poker game. Um, and there's just a guy that we used to always play against. And people would make fun of him because he would come in and he would drop thousands of dollars into the game. And people would make fun of him because obviously he was not that great at poker, which is kind of makes a great game. But I never made fun of him because I was like, if this guy can come in and lose $200,000 in a year, he's most likely doing, and not really care about it, he's most likely doing something really right in his other life. And I heard them discussing, hey, I'm thinking about getting in this vaping space and this electronic cigarette space. And I was like, man, that is really interesting. So I kind of, I said, hey, man, let me, let me work with you. I'll work with you for free. I just want to see what makes you so successful. And um, we put together a little business plan for a little store. And I took it and I sent it to my friend Kevin, who I mentioned earlier, who also played poker. And he said, oh, my goodness. And I've known Kevin since we were 13. And he's, and, you know, Kevin's a co-owner now and uh, co-founder. And he said, that is really amazing you sent me this. My mom just quit a three-pack-a-day habit. She tried the gum, and she tried pills, and she tried uh, the patch, and nothing worked. And I bought her this little vaporizer at a store, and it was the only thing that worked. And, and I said, well, this is a sign. This is, this is better for people. Looks like a great uh, investment. Let's do this. So myself, Kevin, and uh, the third co-founder, Matt Wiener, who also was playing poker with us at the time, we went from being professional poker players, literally playing 40, 50, 60 hours of poker a week, to starting this company and overnight and it just took off so fast that you know I haven't really played much since <laughs> it's like a lost art now I don't know <coughs> I'm the fish now so um, you are the captain now yeah that so I, I really love this story uh, I like to hear your side and I've heard uh, Kevin's side and I've heard Matt's side and I really like how I just Oh, thank y'all. Okay, so um, moving on, that that kind of put us into our next question from Adam. I wish I could say your last name, but I'm not going to try. Thank you. Say it again. Yurkunas. Mm-hmm. Would you call her? Yurkunas? Yurkunas. That's his last name. Are you from Adam Louisiana? Oh, I'm not. Oh. Uh, Brian is. Thank you. Thank you for the cursory laugh. Oh, I because you're from Louisiana. That's why you got that. All right. Sorry, we're offensive here. Um, he, okay, he says, I get funny looks every time I ask or mention Las Vegas. Did we offend the company somehow? I don't understand. Funny so looks. he, I'm assuming in the group, 
he goes in and mentions like conventions in Las Vegas. Are mm-hmm. y'all gonna be in Vegas? Is there gonna be a store in Vegas? And every time someone comes in and is like, ugh. Hmm. I don't know why you would get funny looks, but I tell you what, giving our our background, our previous background of playing poker, uh, somehow every time there's a convention in Las Vegas, I kind of somehow wind up on that trip. Kind of somehow? Yeah. Like, yeah. where's that? Uh, Milwaukee? No, nothing against Milwaukee. No. Vegas? Yeah, I'll, I'll be on that one. Yeah, because you're all poker players. Yeah. So do we have any... Are we eventually going to have stores in Vegas, maybe? I want stores everywhere. I mean, I want to bring that vape wallet experience um, to the customers. Not everybody shops online. And even if you do shop online, there is still some issues. Even if you get your package next day, which for a lot of people, especially in the area surrounding Texas, you get your package next day, I want that doesn't help you at night, right? That doesn't help you that day if you run out of a coil or if you need liquid. And there's still a lot of stores out there. And I'm not bad mouthing them, but there's still a lot out there that are charging, you know, 20 bucks for a 30 mil or $25 for a 60 mil. And, you know, it's, that's not us. That's not what we do. Um, our stuff's high quality. It's no different. And sometimes it's better quality. We want to bring that uh, that option to to the masses. Um, so we are we do have a franchising program now for our stores. Um, I can't. I think there's a link on the website. Mm-hmm. On franchising is, opportunities. And you can email, I think it's franchise at vapewild.com. Mm-hmm. Um, but on the website, if you pull it up, scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's like a little uh, link down there, franchise opportunities. And, and then it has a whole submission form and everything, yeah. Mm-hmm. So there you go. If you want to be part of the Vape Wild fam and you want to, you've always wanted to run your own store, but you kind of want that help from a, you know, from Big Brother that's like, hey, we'll do the marketing for you, stuff like that. You just hang out and talk to the customers, interact. That option's out there. And so... Hopefully, we'll see more, lots more. more now you know. Stores. Knowing is half the battle. All right. So, um, this is our show before we kind of really get into the mystery flavor. Um, and I thought that you and Batsu would like to try the January mystery flavor and kind of tell us what you think. I have no idea what it is. So, this oh, will be perfect. Okay, good. I know what, I know what it is. Let's um, do that. But here's this, if you'd like to smell it. And if you have received a mystery flavor already and have tried it, comment and let us know what you think it is. I'm looking at all the awesome comments here. I love smoke. I love my alien. Make a store in Fort Bragg, California. California is a tough place to go into. Mm-hmm. Still trying to set up with 7-Eleven? Yes. All in Dallas right now we have 7-Elevens. Florida, yeah. Florida, if you're in South Tampa or all the way over to Hollywood, Fort Lauderdale, we have several stores. Uh, some of them used to be called Vaping Station, and I don't remember some of the other ones. But just look up Vape Wild there. Which one's mine? It doesn't matter. Okay, you I will just, go with pick, this. I will. I will go with this one. You can have the orange one. I am an Aggie. I cannot vape out of anything burnt orange. Mm. Someone just asked if you're a gamer. Right? I I do play. Um, not often because I have a five year old and a fourteen year old and a wife and a, this job keeps me really busy. Um, but when I do have a chance to uh, relive a little bit of my youth, right now I'm playing Battlefront 2. It's a game that got shit on because of all the loot boxes. I picked it up for $9, so now I just run around and... I mean, for $9, and that's a great game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I run around and act like I'm uh, you know, Darth Vader. I love it. No, huh. Battlefront 2. You mean Battletoads? <laughs> no, no. That, that, that game's Fun unbeatable. Fact, they're, they're remaking that. <laughs> Woo. So, this flavor, I did taste it. It reminds me of a flavor made by a well-known brand that you know very well. Do That's I, very specific. <laughs> do I like them? Yeah, I like them. No. I know what you're talking about then. Okay. I, can, I won't speak the flavor out. It reminds me a little bit of Starstruck. Yes. Yeah, okay, so you were pulling cucumber out of it too. That's probably why he's why Eric's saying starstruck. It reminds me of him of like a, a cucumber. Yeah, flavor. I get I get I get a cucumber flavor. Yeah. Comment. Okay, so we got him coming in. I like the and January I, mystery flavor. I tell I smell and take. Gosh, it's going into that. I smell and taste melon, but it's not setting off my melon allergies. Yay! It's not overly sweet either. Some people no. think our juice is too sweet. Some people think it's not sweet enough. This one I'm not getting out. And the and thing was like I um. I, I attempted to try it earlier, but the coil hadn't set, sat yet, so I was like, I don't know if I like this. But now that the coil is sat, and I've actually gotten the full profile of it, it tastes pretty good. 
Well, I told you earlier, I was like, nah, it's better now. It's Why is better. Matt Wiener calling me right now? We just talked about him. Doesn't he know? I'm like, hi, Matt. What's going on, Matt? I'm on live. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we should have just pulled him up as a guest. Did you see earlier that they like they wanted to have Come in the uh, film room real us? fast. We should take calls. That'd be amazing. Okay, Caller, so you're on line one. So this is on my list okay. of stuff to possibly start doing is to take take phone calls during live, which would be awesome because we could take them from anybody. So you can get a, you can just get like a cheap prepay, put a number down. Yeah, just anyone. Um, okay, so no. click. Maybe maybe we can get a call from Betsy. That would be fun. Oh, she hates Joe. She Can't does hate you. Joe. I find um, it hilarious. If you do not know who Betsy is, we will talk about her at the end of the show after the giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Um, so Batsu, what do you think the flavor is? The high profile. Well, I mean, like I said, I, high I, I profile? the high profile. <laughs> High profile flavor. I, I get a very strong cucumber presence with this, so that's where I'm. That's where I'm leaning. Um, I do taste like some other notes, but the cucumber is coming in pretty. Strong. See, I'm. I thought it was cucumber at first, but I started to get a little bit more honeydew kind of flavor. Um, I think the more you get into it, the more you can taste. I don't. But if you have my personal opinion, you already know what I'm vaping. Yeah, man. With like a hit of um, either crisp apple or crisp pear. I'm not sure. Cucumber Ooh, ham. Apple. What's wrong with you, Lolly? I, li I like me some <laughs> apple vapes. Yeah, yeah, and uh, ham. Get a little, yeah. get a little ham in there. It's a little, little ham roasted. Um. All right. So make sure to comment because I want to know what you guys think it is. I know it's really early for this. Um. But I was really excited for this flavor. So. All right, we're going to take um, three minutes or so. Three? Two to three minutes. Two to three. And we're going to do um, a Q&A. Do Ooh. you want to um, cue, cue the thing, so Q&A time. Oh, so I don't have to answer the questions. I don't have to look, I don't have to look on Dale's phone. What do you all want me to do with Dale's phone right now? Well, I don't I think we're live right now. Are we live right now? Oh, oh we are. <laughs> what should I do? I s what should I do with Dale's phone? This is the only time I'm going to have this opportunity. <laughs> What did you do with my phone? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Upgraded. <laughs> oh, that would be that would, that would be see, lovely. Whole, oh, wholesome. And now it's time for the question and answer portion of our show. So you can ask a question, and uh, Dale or Batsu will answer it. For example, if you wanted to ask Dale, what is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow, or perhaps ask Batsu. Why do cucumbers taste better pickled? Um, well, they would answer you. So type your question now. Chew it time. Lolly, don't tell him to lick my phone. Yes, do that. that. Do exactly gross. that. Aren't those like the most disgusting things you have in your house? Yes. Yeah, they're, they're full of bacteria. Well, and okay, and so, so I was talking to Gabe about this whenever he was writing the script <laughs> for... Air juice. Uh, Fart on it. So I was talking to Gabe about this whenever he was writing the script for how to clean your mod. This is a very big deal. Like, your cell phones are gross. And you take your mod into the bathroom just like you take your cell phone, and it's gross. Clean your mod. Wow. All right, uh, Rudy, we're not answering that question. By the way, VWAF <laughs> swag? Yes, more VWAF swag. I'm going to make some T-shirts and whatnot. What's your favorite juice? Um, I'm still kind of... Partial to a lot of the the first runs, um, so I think Sweet Complexity is that even is that even alive anymore? Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that one a lot. Uh, Circus Bear, which used to be called Mother Custard, way back when, if anybody can remember that, because yep. um, it was a strawberry banana custard. Um, and of the newer ones, um, Merc. I mean, Mer everybody loves Merc. It's really good. Um, and Cowboy Cooler. Cowboy Cooler is great. Okay, uh, Dave asked. Um, he's in need of batteries. And his question is, who killed the two-pack of batteries? Dude, I went to go buy batteries the other day because I need, um, like, four or five sets. And the two-pack's not available, but the singles are available. Yeah, I buy two of the singles right now. I think we're supposed to get them discounted so that the two singles are as cheap as a two-pack. Call customer service. But we have it. I mean, right now, getting batteries that are legit, that aren't rewrapped, mm -hmm. that uh, the insurance company will let us get... Um, and the way I say insurance companies, because anytime a battery goes off and somebody does something really dumb with the battery, please have battery safety. Cause we just get threatening letters all day long from law firms. So 
take care of your batteries, people. Otherwise, what's going to happen is the FDA is going to take them away, and they're going to make it where you have to have a device that is only internally charged like a phone. Although, I, some phones explode too, right? Yes. Yeah. So, so, so do kids' electronics. Um, David made his first order last week. Love the juice. Thanks, Thank you, guys. David. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Hi. Welcome. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> you are one of us now. One of us. One of us. Um, <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. Circus Bear, Mr. Black and Moo is really good. Um, someone said, what would you write on your tombstone? Oh, wow. I am not normally a serious person <laughs> outside of work, so I don't know. I died like I lived. <laughs> Oh, I would probably put really tiny font on the. Uh, I would probably put really tiny font on the tombstone, so you have to get real close to it and say something to along the lines of like, "Why are you standing here?" <laughs> something like about dying. Not much else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so for those that didn't hear hear it, uh, we came with a, a theme at one point in time. It's kind of an internal theme, and maybe we'll take it coast to coast one day. But it's vape wild. We're serious about vaping. And not much else. And so JP just said, we're ser serious about dying and not much else, which would be good. It'd be great. Um, all right. So I want to do the uh, five, the giveaway now, which are five winners. They will receive a coupon code for 10% off Vape Wild e-liquid. And two of those winners will also receive vape mats. Hold on a second. We got some great tombstones in here. Wait a sec. <laughs> Uh, that, that should be the question. In life, I blue clouds. Now I ride them. <laughs> Do you guys main and Smash Bros. Ultimate? That's a terrible that tombstone. Um, favorite Star Wars movies? Sorry, Empire Strikes Back. I thought there was more tombstones. Should, should we ask him that? Like, what 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 should be on your tombstone for? <laughs> Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. It's the best movie ever made. Yeah. Okay. So Eric's gonna pick these winners, and they can be random. Okay. But uh, what do you want to have them type in there, Batsu? Uh. <laughs> what do you want to see? Since Eric said he's not serious, so on his tombstone, what would you put on Eric's tombstone? Oh, okay. The best ones. So first one was, uh, so what was the one earlier I said? I ride clouds. That's pretty good. Okay, you got to give me their names. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. And there's five with In life, I blew clouds and I ride them. So Gary Oxford, that was a pretty good one. Who do you main? I heard Peach is OP, by the way, in Smash Brothers. Um, let's see. What? Come on. Give me some. Give me some lines of uh, what you would put on a tombstone, so that way we can pick some winners here. Oh, come on, this, y'all. The lag. We got some lag happening. Oh no, lag. Yeah. My girlfriend loves Batsu. Lots of girlfriends love Batsu. <laughs> wait, 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 what? <laughs> Told you I was sick. Yeah. Told you I was sick. That was pretty good. I told you. Saved a million. I like that, too. Okay, give me names. Sorry, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. Told you I was sick. Megan Miller. Um, or Meg Han Miller. Oh, it's with an H. Uh, Sherry Goodyear said saved a million. <laughs> I crit missed. <laughs> yeah, Bilbo Bagginses was the for real, guys. I'm serious. I told you I was sick. Sherry, what was her name? Goodyear. <laughs> Goodyear. <laughs> yeah, right? That's a good one. Look behind you. The God of Fate. <laughs> okay, who's, who's number four? Um, let's see. Here lies because I have Gary Oxford, Megan Miller, and Sherry Goodyear, whom I believe just won a big All right, I yeah. rolled a one. No, no, no. I like yeah, Danny, Danny Trouble. I crit missed, which is kind of a D and D, D and D, yeah, nerd joke, but I love it. Danny, love it, love it. <laughs> Terry just R I P. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, one more, right? Yep. I am haunting all the How about this? Now. I'm finally on cloud nine. Valerie Meadows. That's pretty good. All right, so now what do we do? How do we choose who gets what? A fight to the death. Break out your spears. That's a pretty good one too, Lolly. Hi, Lolly. Okay, so <laughs> our coupon code winners are Gary Oxford, Megan Miller, Sherry Goodyear, Danny Treble, and Valerie Meadows. You are the keeper of the vape mats right now. You have two to give away. Which two of those people are they going to? Can you see the names again? Jeez. So I, my, I can't spell. We all hold on a second. Hold on a second. Before I do that, I have to think of a, I have to think about. Start sweating now. I'm 39, so it should be a three in there. Who's number three? Sherry Goodyear. Uh, Sherry Goodyear. 
Sherry Goodyear, you won a vape mat. And Yay. we're in January, so who's the first one? Gary Oxford. Gary Oxford, there we go. And I know Lolly's gonna be angry at me, and she's gonna send me a lot of PMs and stuff. But the same thing with we'll, same thing with Cynthia. I'm getting Cynthia. Them. I know. Um, I know. We'll, on, we'll get. On. We'll take care. Before they start getting upset, y'all, I'm talking to y'all, and I said they. Before you start getting upset, don't freak out because there is a giveaway on Saturday. And I told you we had four to give away, and we just gave two away. So that means we have two left. So I wonder what the giveaway is gonna be for Saturday. Who knows? You gotta come back on Saturday. And you watch get that a car. video. Yeah. You get a car. No, no, we're not going to give a car. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so to reiterate, it was Gary Oxford, Megan Miller, Sherry Goodyear, Danny Trouble, Valerie Meadows, and Gary and Sherry, y'all. That's funny. Gary, 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 Gary. and Sherry, y'all got the vape mats. So all that you need to do is send an email to winners at vapewild.com. And the two that won the vape mat, please make sure that you put in that email that you won the vape mat as well. Because we have to send those separately. Um, what else do you want to talk about? We got anything else? Yeah, we got an in question from Callie. Okay, Callie? Yeah, I have it on my, on my notes. About the Betsy. It's about Betsy. Okay. That all hilariously right, so evil AI. We, we want to know what is the best way to connect with you guys. Is it through Betsy, which is our text messaging AI? Uh, uh, Joe hating. Um, Joe hating. A uh, service, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> what a, a computer? Can I can I call her that? Um, Betsy, or is it through emails? Is it through YouTube? Is it through Facebook? Um, what is the best way to for us to communicate with you guys? So uh, make sure to put that in the comments below or to the side, wherever the comments are coming up right now. Um, and if you do not know who Betsy is, we have a video on Betsy, and you will completely understand the Joe and Betsy yeah. uh, joke once you watch that video. There's lots of questions. Uh, bottles. Everybody's <laughs> talking about new Excuse bottles. Me. We have a shipment right now on the seas. If anybody knows... Um, how hard it is to buy things from China and how long it takes. They're on the way over. The best way to get to the new bottles is for us to clear out the old ones. So not much longer. Guys, just bear with us. We knew we made the mistake in true vape wallet fashion. Um, as soon as we heard you guys, we had, to, we, we had to enact a plan. It just wasn't super fast. Um, but, you know, that's what you get with us. We're not always perfect, but we'll always fix the mistake. We also have a video that um, will show you how to squeeze a chubby. One of our hard Excuse chubbies. Me? Gotta, gotta squeeze one of them hard chubbies. So if you. <laughs> what a program you, is this? You're you, riding mods and squeezing chubbies listen, hard? Listen. You hired me. Um, <laughs> we wouldn't be able to be who we are at work if it wasn't for you, though. Yeah, truly. Yeah. Really, yeah. like, so we appreciate people you. People keep asking. So can, can, oh. can that thing zoom in? Yes. This is yeah. a regular bottle. I mean, this is a regular bottle. So I'm trying to squeeze. I'm putting the appropriate amount of. We're force moving the on camera. It. Hold on. He's going to zoom. He'll, he'll let you know. Are we good? Yeah. So this is a regular bottle. I'm going to put that much pressure on it. It's still kind of hard to squeeze. I get it. And this is a new bottle. And it, you can see that it just goes all the way in. So the, the plastic's a little bit more pliable. It will crack a little bit more. But you guys, I know how you guys chain vape. So it, you won't care that the bottle gets slightly more cracked. So that bottle has had about 200 mils run through it, and that's all that's happened. Ah, uh, okay. Because so, I keep pouring more in and there. And people keep squeezing because they go, is this the new squeezy bottle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Yeah, the is. plastic's a little, it's, it's, it's strange. It's like, it's a little more rigid, but it gives a lot easier as well. Yeah. So it's it's like the best of both worlds. It's yeah. structurally sound, but it's easy to it squeeze. It reminds me a little bit of the material okay. on, the, on the old PET um, style bottles. We had someone talk about the lids. So whenever I was handed this bottle, it was completely down the <laughs> was um, completely down. The reason why I was one of the ones um, given one of these bottles is because I can't open them. Whenever they come out of off the line, I can't open those bottles, the the bottles that we're using now. So they gave me the, this bottle and said, open it. And all that I had to do was barely twist it, and it completely came open. Of course, you have to push down to get out of the child lock, but you push down and twist, and the, the new bottles, this bottle I have in my hand, worked amazingly um so for those of you who had the question about the caps so i see some other new product questions you guys mm -hmm. ever get cbd e-juice or nick salts 
Um, vape wild mixed salts are coming. Uh, we just have to be careful about them. And then CBD, we're very interested in, but you know, there's so many regulations that's going crazy. The last thing I'd want to do is put the company in jeopardy by rolling out some CBD online. FDA or somebody else gets mad, and now nothing on vape wilds available. Um, not only would that be suck for us, it would suck for you guys as well. So um, we just have to be careful. We want to, and if you ever stop in one of our brick and mortar stores, um, I think there's CBD. We've got three around the Cypress area in Houston. We've got eight in Florida. We've got um, North Carolina, North Carolina North and no South Carolina. South Carolina. South Carolina, Spartanburg, and okay. then also in Georgia. I don't remember the town name. And then two in London. So, Cheerio. <laughs> Governor. <I took> <laughs> All right. I, I can't. We, we, we've. Eric, you're popular. I am? This is probably one of the um, best live videos we've had. So, thank you. Great. Let's bring us. it. Anytime you need me. Just Y'all just throw up the bat signal and I'll come running. That's my signal. What are you doing? Um, <laughs> it should be like a V W V W. Yeah, V W. I always want to say V Dub or V Dub Club and stuff like that. But when yeah. you when you look that up, it's all Volkswagen, Volkswagen. forums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's not that's not us. Yeah. Um, but we we are gonna end it here, guys. Um, I would like y'all to comment and let us know um who y'all want the special guest to be for our next live video. Mm. Um, don't forget to check out the community tab because I have some polls and some uh, more question for you, more questions for you guys. Um, I need your help. Please help me. I think one of the artists would be fun. You know, what's the Who craziest? Oh, <laughs> last week. Shut him down. Or so not last quick. week, but the week before. Tim uh, came in uh, and did live art. Yeah. I watch every week. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. You're busy with the company, though. Yes. I don't expect you to watch it. Man. Uh, you um, you'll be able to come to Have you had today? anybody in operations or no. mixing or no. any of that? That'd be really cool. Or compliance? No. Okay. I don't know. Compliance might be kind of boring. Not boring. Not compliance. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Sajid. Tasha. Yeah. But those guys are lame. It's always lame. like, no, you can't do that. No, Wait. Tasha knows that I, I, like, I love it. Why can't guys. I just put a bunch of e-liquid in a plane and just dump it over North America? <laughs> Compliance. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Sometimes so, I feel like Michael Scott up in this. And Compliance is Toby. Yep. Yes. This yeah. is real. Yeah. So. This, this <laughs> is life. Um. I, I could see you being Michael Scott. That's who you should dress up for for Halloween. No kidding. <laughs> um, Dave, Dave would be a good one. And make Dave play you guitar and sing you a song live. Uh, yeah, he's a good cool. musician. Heather could they play his like crazy girlfriend. Show. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> the pregnant one. <laughs> um, okay, all right, guys. We will um, see you in two weeks. Callie, everybody wants Callie. Callie and Dave, it seems to be. And Crystal. Mm -hmm. Everybody, just bring them all in. We'll have a round table. Um, <laughs> whoever gets the most votes on this little thing that we're doing here, I'll put it in a poll on the community tab so everyone else can vote as well. Um, all right, we'll see you later, guys. Thank you for joining us today. Later days. Bye.